we got our Sunday games. Two Sunday games. The first game, uh, mid-afternoon, the Browns, the resurgent, the inspirational Browns, 10-point dogs on the road against the Chiefs. If there was ever a time to fade the Browns and smash, smash, smash the Chiefs, it is this weekend. Big balls, better of the week. Big balls, bet of the week. What the what, Chiefs? What we and it doesn't. Okay. People are saying to themselves, "How how does this take balls to bet the Chiefs?" Because no one believes in the Chiefs right now. They haven't covered in what seems like two months. They haven't played a football game now in three weeks. And Andy Reid off a of bye. That's it. That's all you need to say. Andy Reid off a of bye. I I can't see this Browns team that. We know what their defense is. Their defense is they can get a turnover or two. They have a chance to win or cover a game. If they don't get any turnovers, that defense is horrible. They don't have anyone that can stop a good offense. And we saw Ben Roethlisberger, who can't throw the ball deep. What did he put up, 39 points? I forgot how many points they end up with. But Pittsburgh, they kind of showed the blueprint of what every team has done to the Browns this year, which is you can just pass on them. So the Browns – what well, you just said, they're going to be the square dog of the week. I mean, I'm a little scared we'll talk about the Bucks team, but that might be the square dog, too, of the week. But this is just one of these games where the public is exactly what you're saying. They're thinking the Browns are a team of destiny now after that last game, a game that I honestly gave them no chance to win, and they really showed up as a team. And Baker played well in that game. He made big throws. I cannot do it. I cannot back the Browns here against Patrick Mahomes. And we talked last year when I came on the show. I kept, I kept giving out the Chiefs at a high number. I, I think it was Houston they played in the Titans, and both times I said I had them at – I think the Houston had them at minus 14, and we saw what happened in that game. They came back and they scored 54 straight points. And the final week against the Titans, which was a public dog. Everyone loved the Titans after they had just upset the Ravens and just beat the Patriots. I think that line was uh, – I think it was plus eight, plus nine, and it got bet down to like seven, seven and a half um, for the Titans – the Chiefs beat them by 11. So it's another one of those weeks where I think a lot of sharps are actually going to come in on the Chiefs here, and they're going to trust that Andy Reid's going to have these guys right. Maybe the Browns is a smart first half bet. You can bet that the Chiefs come out slow and sloppy. But I think once the Chiefs start getting in a groove, I don't think they're going to take the foot off the gas like they did during the regular season. I think they're going to kill these guys. So I'm with you. This is one of these I'd happily put in with the Chiefs. Chiefs, 100%. By the way, uh You're right in your assessment. Uh, I'm looking at the data right now in the Action Network app. Uh, 53% of the bets, that is the public, coming in on the Browns as 10-point dogs. 60% of the money, the professionals, coming in on the Kansas City Chiefs. And Simon, we are nothing, if not professionals. The total in this game, 55 and a half. You got an opinion? Yeah, I got to take the under again where – We've seen the Chiefs, they want to try to run the ball more, ball control, and we know what that the Browns staple. So I could see the public coming in on the over because the Browns, they can give up so many points, and the Chiefs, they can score a lot of points, but I have to do the under. I, I, I just I, I just can't see this kind of game script where either team is going to want to be playing fast. I think both of them want to keep each team's offense off the field. So I, I like the under here at that number. 